Does size really matter? Here's the thing. If you wanna be happier, you need to get a bigger bank account. If you wanna feel safer, you need to get a bigger dog. If you wanna have a better love life, you need to get a bigger bed. So at this point, it only makes sense that if I wanted to be more productive, I had to get a bigger monitor. This is the story of how I 10X my monitor size to 10X my productivity. And I did this by replacing my monitor with a 65 inch TV. Well, my actual TV is over there in the living room and it's actually smaller than my monitor. So this is a 65 inch 4K OLED TV. I got it on sale many years ago. It was one of those demo TVs that they had on display. So it was basically playing Disney movies nonstop every day for months. So the life of the TV itself was already depreciated by the time that I bought it. After using this TV desk setup for what, six months now, I've noticed that my life has changed for better and for worse in a number of ways. Some days I feel only moderately more productive, like when I listen to podcasts with my setup, but other days I'm able to achieve extreme productivity. It used to be that I had to pick and choose just one of my favorite productivity YouTubers to watch at a time. But now with this giant monitor, I don't have to choose anymore. I can just watch them all at the same time. And if I'm feeling extra, I can even have RemNote open to take notes while I'm watching. My day job is working as a doctor in the hospital. So when I'm not watching productivity videos, I'm trying to get ahead on my medical education to be the best doctor that I can be. Now that I have TV desk in my life, I have the luxury of working hard and playing hard. Playing video games is now next level. I can't fit speakers on my desk, but that's okay because noise canceling headphones are more than immersive anyway. Now, I wanna take a moment to talk about a minor setback when it comes to TV desk. At first, I thought I wasn't sleeping well because my productivity was just going through the roof, but then I wondered, could it be that I'm just nuking my eyeballs with 10 times the amount of blue light right before bedtime compared to when I was using my other monitor? So one of the things I was really looking forward to with TV desk was the reduction in focus fatigue. Some days I spend hours in front of my monitor and if I'm editing videos, those hours are spent with my eyes fixated just two feet from the screen which is a little too close. But now with a bigger monitor, theoretically, I can sit further away from the screen and still be able to see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, my desk isn't big enough to support that, so I'm still stuck sitting only two feet away, but now with 10X the size, so it's kind of like sitting in the front row seat of an IMAX movie. I can tell that it's been a long productive day when my neck starts to hurt a little bit. And this is because I have to actually hyperextend my neck to be able to read the fine print at the top of my screen. And on that same note, I used to be able to achieve speed reading simply by moving only my eyes. But now with my super large screen, speed reading also requires me to move my entire head. So if you're considering using a monitor this size, I gotta be real with you, the input lag is crippling. There's a split second delay between when I move my mouse and when I actually see the mouse move on my screen. Yeah, it's super annoying. I was able to reduce it by turning off the OLED motion blur. It helps somewhat, but I've just taken this as a sign that TV desk wants me to use my mouse less and to use my keyboard as much as possible. In the end, that technically is more productive, so I'll take it. So this is a good opportunity for me to share my desk setup that I've been using for the past few months. If you see something that you like and you wanna support us, all the stuff in this video will be affiliate linked in the description below. So as you can see, my monitor, or my TV rather, is bigger than the desk itself. Let me just give you a quick tour and then we have a lot to discuss about this TV desk. The computer I use is the 2020 M1 Mac Mini, probably my favorite purchase last year. I spent somewhere around $700 on it for minimum specs, but it still has been able to drastically reduce the amount of time that I spend editing my videos compared to when I was using my uh, 2019 MacBook Pro. My Mac Mini sits on top of this Sateco all-in-one hub that consolidates all my USB, USB-C, monitor, headphones, SD cards. I love how it's exactly the same dimensions as my Mac Mini and it doesn't really stick out. On this side, I have a 10 terabyte G drive to store all of our 4K video footage for our videos and it just stays permanently plugged into the Mac Mini. My favorite keyboard here is the MX Keys. It's a nice balance between feeling fun to type on 
versus not being too obnoxiously loud. Once in a while, I'll bust out my other favorite keyboard, which is the Keychron. When I'm playing speed typing games and I want a mechanical keyboard feel. We also made a video about increasing your typing speed. Definitely check that out when you get a chance. My mouse is the MX Master 3. The MX Master line has been my favorite for almost 10 years now. Usually when there's a newer model, I immediately buy it because I just love the design that much. This desktop mat, I'm not sure what brand it is. It was just a random leathery mat on Amazon. I think it was like $12 or something. I use the Shure MV7 for audio recording. In my opinion, it's one of the top of the line mics in terms of quality and ease of use. And apparently it's one of the best podcast mics as well. I don't have room for speakers on my desk because the TV covers the entire surface from end to end. So I use the Apple HomePod mini as my speakers because it's small enough to not block any of my screen real estate. I have an anchor phone charger on this side for wireless charging. The desk itself is the autonomous standing desk. It has different modes set to my preferred height when I'm both sitting and standing. When I'm standing, I use this anti-fatigue mat. It was fairly cheap. Don't remember the brand off the top of my head, but I'll link it below. In my chair is the autonomous Ergo Chair 2 with head support to help me with my cervical spine posture and to prevent any pre-existing risk of nerd neck. My final thoughts are that this desk setup has opened doors for me that I didn't even know existed. Sure, I've had to make some sacrifices here and there, but if it's all in the name of productivity, then I mean, it's really a no-brainer. I know that getting bigger screen size isn't the most affordable way to boost your productivity. So if I were pressured to pick a second best recommendation, I would probably consider getting a bigger desk. Mega desk.